Welcome back. Cal came into this season with a lot of experience and expectations. So far, the Centurions are living up to them. Yeah, tonight they enter this game with a 2-0 record, winning both games by a combined score of 86 to nothing. So they beat North Bullet last week. Time to welcome Bullet Central. Folks, uh, Cal might not be welcome out in Bullet County after these last two games. First play of the game, Cole Hodge deep to a wide open Justin Ruffin. Right trigger down, 90 plus yard touchdown with a track runner's finish into the end zone to make it 7 0 Cal. That kid is good. Later, same score, Cal in the red zone. Hodge firing out to Darwin Cotton. He is in to make it 14 to nothing. But let's get back to Ruffin. This kid is such a weapon for this team. Hodge throwing him a dart in the end zone to make it 21 nothing and Cal dominates uh, to win this one and shut out Bullet Central. A pair of one and one teams squaring off in Eastern and Fairdale. Eastern won this matchup 35 to six last year. Fairdale defense pretty much eight all night. Daniel Winburn getting back there for the sack, but to Eastern's credit, really didn't stop fighting. Noah LaRoe gets to the outside, makes a few men miss. This is a big game to get into Fairdale territory. Next play, though, I haven't really seen anything like this. This ball is tipped up high, but Joshua Shipley on the ground, and that's a catch? Yes, the official says it's a catch. Fairdale wins 38-0, but wow, what a grab. In Southern Indiana, Floyd Central looked to get their first win of the season as they visited Silver Creek. The Dragons won this matchup 26 to nothing last year. And folks, this isn't a little dragon. This is a little angel. Hey, you little cutie pie. Silver Creek's first drive of the game. And this is called being under duress if you're a quarterback. The Highlanders finally coming up with the sack. On the other end, Tristan Robertson swings it out to Eli Branham, and my man ain't going to stop until he finds the land of six. Floyd Central grabs the early lead. Next possession, it's Robertson to Branham again, and he finds another gear. Maybe gone. Floyd Central gets that first victory as they beat Silver Creek 27-13. Elsewhere in Southern Indiana, Jeffersonville hosting Bedford North Lawrence. Red Devils up 18 to nothing at the half. Stars trying to get back in the game in the third. Memphis Loudon lobs it up in the end zone. And what a grab. It's now an 18 to seven game. By the way, if your first name is Memphis, you're going to be a quarterback. Yep. Red Devils trying to get back in it, but Caden Bennett jumps in the passing lane, picks it off. So the Stars have it back. Fourth quarter now, same score. BNL facing a fourth and four inside the 15 yard line. Luke Elliott comes up with the stick and the stars are denied. However, magic comeback by Bedford North Lawrence who scores the game winning touchdown with less than 30 seconds left. Jeff falls 19 to 18. Wow. Let's see what they got cooking over at Clarksville, Tyler, Ooh. and they should call this grill Ooh. heaven. Oh yeah, there's some onions right there. Ooh. Beautiful. General's trying to snap a 16 game losing streak to Charlestown. Pirates with the ball down 14 to eight. That's Clay McClellan to Xander Morris for the score. Charlestown goes for two. They get it, so it's now 16 to 14. The Pirates not giving up any gold on that possession. The sack by Mal Malachi Rios. So Charlestown gets the ball back. Terrence Bonner straight up the gun Woof. for the score. Charlestown extends the winning streak to 17 over Char Clarksville as they beat Clarksville 43-21.